what's up? This is Hyun Suk Yoon and welcome back to the SDR model tutorial with Numerous Model Builder. In this tutorial, we're now going to have a model encapsulating multiple SCIV models representing a whole population consisting of multiple meta population. So this is going to blow your mind and I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, once again, our friend Kriti is going to explain how this is done. Kriti? All right, so we are going to continue from where we took off last, which was talking about the in pins and out pins. And now let's talk a little bit about what's going on over here, especially when I put my cursor here. It probably looks kind of funky because we have things coming in and out of the same places as it seems. So a little bit of the theory. To extend homogeneous SEIR to a meta population level, you want to essentially embed it in the background population via a migration process. And that's essentially why we've dragged this continuous SEIV to the top layer, is to be able to embed it within the system. In this case, we've added local per capita emigration rates for some, sub, for some set of subpopulations so as to take into account individuals that are moving in and out of the age classes. So if we do this for all subpopulations using emigration rates, we can actually produce immigration rates. And those look like movement within a meta population. Therefore, movement matrix matrices are, is, are defined and extended to, if you think, I believe, equations 17. So video eight will describe the node network and this is the node network. For now, I can briefly describe where it's taken from and that's from here. So if you drag it, you'll see kind of the same thing. But, oops, um, but I will not be talking about that here. In this video, I'll be describing how to use output of node network within the migration code chip. So, okay, wait, this is still not deleting. So let's get that out of the way. So if we look at this migration code chip, I can pull this up so we can see what's going on. We have these inputs and these outputs. The output is used to calculate migrations of individuals between subpopulations. It's also used to tally the total number of individuals within each state. That is the S, the E, the I, and the V states. So the result of calculations within the migration code chip over here is used as input back into the node network as described in the following video and and as demonstrated here so we have something going in and then we have what's th what that is coming out 